Oh, collective. Uh, today, I'm going to read about this uh, fifth ray of intellectual knowledge and the family of light. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Pam. This is Pam Star Oracle. Nice to meet you. I, I, I welcome you, and I hope I can give someone a little bit of clarity today. Just a little bit, but remember to use your discernment. You know, we all have this inside of us. You know, don't judge. Just pray about it, and you'll know if it clicks, okay? And I love y'all, and I hope I can help you all. And I appreciate all my loyal support uh, that's been there from me, with me from the get-go. I love you guys. And you new people that keeps coming, I love you guys. And you people that haven't subscribed, I love you guys. And I hope you hit subscribe, and I'm going to get on into it now, you guys. So what pulled out is fifth ray of in intellectual knowledge, this card. And it says, this has come to you as a spiritual gift. You're being given the ability to find info that you need and understand systems that impact your life and find clarity in any issue that has seemed unclear or overwhelming. You shall sort the truth from the lies and learn what you need to know. The, the Archangel Raphael now assists you in integrating the blessings of the fifth ray. It says, uh, you are distilling a new truth. It might be the truth of discernment. Whether you realize the appearance of a person, group, or cause is misleadingly different to the inner reality. Discernment is incredibly important on the spiritual path, all the more so as you open up to the to work with energies, with teachers and teachings, and to sort out all issues in your life according to your spiritual practice principles. Discernment is not judgment, but it does allow you to make informed decisions based on frequency. When you choose to associate with people who are on high frequency, everyone benefits. If you choose to associate with people on low frequency, you may feel your life moving slowly and becoming harder. Uh, discernment helps you navigate through illusions and find the real gems. It helps you step back from those who say they want to support you, but who actually want to take from you and not give in return. Oh, wow. And you'll find a lot of these in the spiritual community. They want to take from you, but they don't ever want to give or help you in your practice. I've noticed that. I love you. And spirit's going to get them. And the fifth ray helps you choose wisely and sever unhealthy connections. This ray also comes to you when there is more to something than meets the eye. So you'll be given the power to discover and understand the truth. Wait until the truth clicks inside of you. Until then, keep looking deeper until you unravel the mystery. And the fifth ray helps you do this successfully. Um, the fifth ray has sp a special connection to the world of science. Uh, uh, you're encouraged to be an observer in your life to experiment with what does and does not work for you. You're invited to pursue any form of science that is of interest to you. And, uh, you could, you could be doing quantum physics of the chemical com composition and healing effects of essential oils or research of meditation and healing. If these don't interest you, you could simply, you could be simply the application of scientific mindset in your life. In that case, become methodical in areas that can benefit from systems, habits, and structures that replicate desired results. Apply this approach to your exercise regimen your meditation practice and any other aspects of your lifestyle that maximize your potential and support your best possible life path. So pray for discernment. That's what it's saying. And, and spirit will help you. And now the family of light, number 17. Um, the limits that much of humanity place upon their love, that they will love their own family, country, religion, or community better than they love those on the outside. Do not restrain your heart. You're capable of loving humanity, of loving all creation on earth. As an extended spiritual family, you will love all as your own. You are meant to belong to a broader family of light. While some souls have incarnated to learn about us and them, others have the purpose of teaching unconditional, all-embracing love. You are one of these. You have taken life to love the many, not just the few. For this life purpose to be anchored issues in your biological family may keep you from bonding with them in a typical way. Perhaps you were the odd one out of the family, the one whom no one really understood. Perhaps you felt love but couldn't live the way your family seemed comfortable to live. Maybe you lost family members through divorce, disease, depression, or death, or through addiction or emotional immaturity that left you disconnected from key family members. Yeah, uh-huh. I lost a lot of people to death and, and drug use. And, and if your father figure was absent, uh-huh, yeah, while she must do the emotional healing work to process that pain, understand the purpose of the absence for your own spiritual connection to remain intact, pure, and powerful. 
If your mother figure was absent, whilst you're advised to do the emotional work to process that pain, understand the purpose of that absence. For you to look beyond your immediate family to find your place and find yourself belonging and to and being devoted to the entire human race. The pain was part of how you remained unconditioned by the more typical family bonds. Whilst these bonds are necessary for many souls to experience their life lessons, the difficulty you may have experienced regard them help push you to become a child of love. You had to seek family in expansive ways, remaining open as you search for love, rather than feeling satisfied by your immediate tribe and close to those outside you outside it. You can come through your experience not as a victim of circumstance, but as an empowered soul. Process it, heal it, forgive, and step into the spiritual blessings gained through your atypical relations with your biological family. Although you were not meant to belong in a traditional way to your family of origin, you should not be denied the love you need. You are here to help build a human family joined by more than blood or legal union. It will not just be you loving the world, but the world loving you. The power of your heart to give and receive love shall not be wasted. So it is time to gently undo the powers of tyranny to fit in. Instead, trust that you are exactly as you were meant to be. When you do, your magnetism will draw love and friendship from those who vibrate at a similar level of consciousness as you Leave past hurts and rejection behind you. You no longer need them to grow. Be brave. Pray to connect to your family of light, not only in spirit, but also here on earth. Let them in. Know that you belong here in spirit and in body to be loved, held, touched, listened to, and accepted just as you are. Oh, wow. Did you hear that? I love you guys, and I hope that helped. So we're all a family, and it's funny that it said you might feel outcasted by your family. Ha, ha, ha. That's why 644 Black Cheek come out. So, tarot reading up here, uh, it pulled out five of pentacles. Somebody wanted to leave you out in the cold. Uh, they they didn't want to tell you something. Uh, it might be a younger energy, a page of cups, a uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, a younger energy. Uh, but, it, but it doesn't have to be. Um, it looks to me like what it's saying right now, out in the cold, you know, it's getting colder now. You know, on the East Coast, it's getting chillier at night. It's saying out in the cold, somebody's going to jump out and scare you. Like that jack-in-the-box. Yeah, they are. They're going to jump out and scare you, somebody. They might just be a little bit younger than you, but that's what they're trying to do. Four of Pentacles. Um, they're trying to uh, fuck with your stability. See? Five of Pentacles. They didn't want you to have no money. They didn't mind not even wanted you to have a home, whoever this person is. I don't know, but... They was trying to mess with uh, your stability and maybe your work. And uh, you're, you're an empress, the empress. Look, you're growing that down tree right out of your belly. See her? She's laying on her back right here on that tree. She's like growing up out of her belly. But, you know, uh, empress, you're, you're building your stability. And somebody wants to come talk to you real fast. This page of swords, they want to uh, bring you a little swift... Uh, communication and what they're wanting to communicate about is whoever this is that they don't have no options that's why seven of cups come out but it was upside down they don't have any options the only option is you <laughs> did you hear that empress the only option is you this person wants to tell you that they see you as loving caring kind devoted uh, a mother uh they see you as Queen of Cups and Queen of Pentacles. They see you as someone who's very loving and giving and nurturing. And they also see you as someone who's very wise, clever, and skillful. And you know how to build uh, wealth. You're wealthy in the spiritual and the physical. That's what it's saying. You're wealthy in love and in physical. And uh, they want to uh, come bring you and offer a love. Oh, God. He wants to chop off people's heads in his charge coming towards you he will chop off all these people that gets in your way five of wands see all these wands he's going to chop off all their fucking heads oh that's what it means he's gonna come chop off all their heads i like these halloween ones do you all do you all love them as much as me hit subscribe if you're new and hit like hit like my people that are subscribed i love you my family a lot i love you very much and i hope i'm helping you and he said he's going to chop these motherfuckers' heads off, these other women or men, whoever they are, he or she, she's going to chop their damn heads off because they're coming to you, baby, because they love you. And two of pentacles, oh, gosh, they want to build with you. See that? Two of pentacles, they want to build with you, baby. They want to 
be balanced. And guess who it is? It's Emperor. Oh, wow. Emperor sees you, Empress. He sees you building over there now. He said, I'm watching every damn thing that you do. And that time that you touched my hand, I fell in love with you. Ten, ten, I fell in love with you. That's what it just said. He fell in love with you. With that one touch of your hand, if that's all you ever had, he's in love with you now. And Eight of Pentacles, he wants to build a business with you. He sees you building your business, and he wants to be a partner with you. He sees that you're very creative. See the creative Ace of Wands? He sees you're very creative. And that you all are going to have many blessings from the divine. When you and Emperor comes together... Because both of y'all, there is no options. The only option is you and him, and, and you're both black sheeps, and you're all supposed to meet to be together. And you're supposed to chop the heads off of all your enemies. That's what it said. That's what it said just then. And uh, he thanks you for teaching him that you had to appreciate everything in life that God bestowed upon you. It said, pull two cards from a tarot deck to see something you might have missed earlier. And, uh, I mean, I did. I pulled out these two because I was just going to leave it with he wanted to work with you. And then I pulled them at Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. Ain't that amazing? Yeah, it is. It's amazing that, you know, it comes out like that for me and my collective. And, and yeah, you all might get outcasted by your family because you're supposed to break generational curses with them. You're like the black sheep. Like, anything you do, they got to fuck with it. Oh, it's raining now, you guys. I hear it raining. Let me pull all my socks. I'm burning up, you all. This morning, it was a little chilly, and I had to go with my husband to a doctor this morning, and damn almighty, I'm burning up now. I had these old big old socks on. Let me pull them off. So, uh, what it's saying is, during Mercury retrograde, some of y'all out here is going to get outcasted by your family, but don't, don't fret over it. Be appreciative of what you do have. Of the people you do have, even if it's just your spiritual family, because they're it, they're going to uh, you're going to have to break his curse during Mercury retrograde. Maybe somebody out here is in a in a relationship; and they need to break it so they can go to their emperor or empress. That's what it's saying now. And all these planets is going into Mercury retrograde, and spirit saying you need to face the present moment fully now with your life, face it fully. Because they want to be married to you, wedding bands, and they want to be as one. Um, they they trust you, and they know that you're somebody who loves, uh, you know, trust involves fidelity and honesty. Trust is an infidelity when you're fucking around, no, and, and they know that you're trustworthy, and they love you. And and they want to be, they want to have a family with you, and be and have roots, you know, and have security, and be... God Almighty, they they love you, and they they are they're welcoming. They want to welcome you in your in their home. Twin Ray does. Twin Ray is the one who fucking loves you. It's Twin Ray is this emperor up here, Empress. And you're all star seeds that are here from ascended worlds. You're very rare. You're highly sensitive and empathetic. Empathetic spirits. You share values and virtues together. Y'all have spiritual goals, and you heal others in humanity. Your soul mission forms how y'all behave. See. So, uh, he, he thanks you for teaching him uh, that he's your twin ray. And he's telling you right now that you need to get out of being in this victim mentality mode and learn that this situation didn't happen to you but for you to grow from this, Empress. That's what he's telling you right now. Don't don't play the victim mentality mode. He sees it's your destiny. Yours and his destiny. And uh, he's your divine masculine. See? And he, he's, he's wanting to come towards you. He's action-oriented oriented. He, he works all the time. He's climbing that ladder to success with you right now. Even if y'all ain't together, he's doing it. And, and and somebody is going to be so excited to be in this new relationship when you all are together. And, and they thank the stars up above for bringing you into their life. See, 1414. They love you. They love you and they want you to change and come towards him. That's what it just said now. I liked that reading, didn't you? <laughs> Twin Ray is your divine masculine. It's your all's destiny to be a family of light and bring out all this knowledge to others. You're meant to do this for humanity. You and him both. Because, you know, y'all, you all always get outcasted by your family. They say you're weird and you're all, they say you're weird and you're probably the most handsomest and gorgeous fucking people in the family. And you're somebody that appreciates all these people. Even when he's treated you shitty. 
And, and you're teaching these people about Mercury retrograde, you know, and that's planning communication and short trips, and you'll experience turbulence in these areas, okay? But he's saying, you better face, face the present moment. I want to marry you and be rooted in you. He wants to put his root in you because he loves you, baby. That's why. He loves you, baby. He loves you big. What I just said now is the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> you guys <coughs> let me see where are you one dang car jack I'm trying to think of what to read for y'all let me get you out so my angel Angel messages. Angel message for the collective. Angel message. Thank you, spirit. I la 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 love you, and my collective la la loves you so 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 much, and we appreciate you now for everything that you do, to our spirit. We appreciate you so very much, and we love you. Oh, we la la love you. Oh, and what on the war zone? Oh, spirit, spirit. Oh, well, oh, okay, and 116, 16, oh, oh, is that what it is? Oh, okay, oh, okay. Okie dokie, okay, dokie, okay, dok. All right, so, um, it says your angels gave you the gift of compassion. You always show love, warmth, and kindness to all people you meet. That's why God... Will reward you on earth. Yeah. That's why. And your angels gave you get the courage. You have the courage and willpower to push yourself to go for your dreams and your goals. And you're going to be a star by keep pushing forward to do that. That's going to be your reward on earth. Because you keep pushing for your goals and dreams. Did you hear me? And your angels gave you get the peace. When you have a peaceful disposition, it shows you will be a person who stands up for others that are being made a mockery of, and show that with a little love and compassion, you can bring peace to a war zone. Boy, ain't that true. You can bring peace to a war zone if you're anything like me, and that might be why you're saying 333. Spirit wants to acknowledge that you, 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 that you bring love and compassion when you see that, okay? And, and when you see 333, you're getting encouragement and assistance. Ooh, and new collaborations and partnerships coming to you. And for Twin Flames, you're meant to be together. In love, your relationship is growing. You and your partner will flourish together. Your vibrations are matching and your energy is electrifying and your intuition is on point. And I'm telling you right now to watch out, Mom. There's a trap. Watch out. Your angels gave you a gift to overcome all obstacles and challenges. And people wonder how you keep getting out of these traps they set for you because Spirit warns you. That's why, Mommies. And when you see 999, one cycle is coming to an end and another phase is beginning. And it also means that a soulmate connection, there's someone that is meant just for you. You and your twin are ending a stage for good. So work on yourselves, achieving your dreams, wisdom, and maturity. So when you see 999, you're gaining more wisdom and you're closing out, uh, you're ending a stage for good. Ooh. 1616, 16, focus on your life, your family and house, the presence of unrequited love in your life, willpower and determination. You need to mend broken relationships and strengthen existing ones in your life, a new beginning of love, excellence of God. So maybe uh, you as being p compassionate and kind and warm to uh, these people that made a mockery of you and they did they showed you little love and and uh, that's how you got out of this trap with these people they was trying to set for you, Mom. And uh, because they was trying to trap you, uh, they was trying to keep a fight going, whoever this unrequited love was, this person you poured out a lot of love to and they didn't give it back to you. Uh, and it says, on a path to achieving your goals, you have a soul mission to complete. Sentimental and hopelessly in love, never lose their zeal for life and their lovers never get tired of them. You and your twin share the same soul. This is a perfect union of two souls becoming one. Seventeen, seventeen. Oh, that's why you see it all the time. Bye, bye. And your angels gave you a gift to heal people with diseases, to be a comfort and feel love, to help make them stronger to fight it. Oh, gosh, that's what it does for now. You all out here. And now this one. Now this one. Uh, I, 
I made this card for you all. This is the only one of my angel gifts. I'm going to be honest with you now. I don't practice chastity. No, uh -uh. I'm married. I don't. I'm not going to lie to you. People that lies about that, well, I hope they get a chastity belt put on them where they never can. You know it because I don't like liars. So, uh, your angels gave you a gift of chastity. You know you're saving yourself for your godly partner. When you exercise chastity, it will always make God smile for you didn't fall for a person who only wanted to play with your feelings after all. Did you love my poem I wrote? Oh, I love you guys. So, when you see 1717, keep practicing chastity. Are you listening? Um, because you and your twins share the same soul. All right. 333 Watch out for the traps. I like them, don't you? Do you like my little can, um, my army tank? <laughs> I like it too. I like it too, you guys. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. Okie dokery, pokery, pokery, doc. What do we want to read for the collective today, spirit? God, I might get damn things heavy. Hang on, I'm going to wait some of these. Now, I ain't been putting on these back in here, you all, okay? I'm uh, gonna get us some messages. I'm just gonna pull from here and there and everywhere. And Spirit, please let it make sense so my people will say, Oh, wow, well, I love watching that lovely lady. She gives us a good, cool message every time, and we love her so much, and we appreciate her. Oh, I hope that you all say that now. Because I do try to help us, okay? A do da a dilly day. I don't know what it says. A do da dilly dilly day. I'm gonna tell us what it says. Hey hey, and I'm gonna get a couple more, and that's all I'm gonna get for sure. Do da dilly day, and a do da dilly day. It's all I'm getting for us, and that's all I'm reading. Hey you guys. I do dot a daily day and I do dot daily day and I do dot daily day and I do dot daily day. Spirit say hey hey hey. Three fell on the floor. My spirit guys reveals to me who is worthy of my time and energy. I love you for that spirit. Two two nine. I love it. Inter enemy is your soulmate. There is an enemy out here and it's your soulmate. I love how you just revealed to me who is worthy of my time. And this motherfucker ain't worth my time. <laughs> and you have a magnetic energy about you. And every person you encounter feels this too. Ooh, ooh that's so true, Spirit. I love you. I love you for that. Telling me. <laughs> telling me in my collective that. We appreciate you. Oh, and it says, uh, these people are damn leeches. This person that is a soulmate, it's a leech. They're leeched onto you, sucking all your blood. See, they're a fucking vampire narcissist. Oh, God. Arrogant, egotistical. Do you want to fight, leech? No. Uh -uh. Angels are watching over you and your family. Your spirit guides is telling you. Don't worry, and you're getting ready to have great luck because they love you. And, 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 and this person, they're in regret, this leech, arrogant asshole. And, and you're thankful for the breath that you, that, that, it says, I'm thankful for the breath that you allow me to breathe each day, God. Oh, gosh, that's how you're helping your, you, you got magnetic energy. And your deceased grandfather is always by your side helping you. Oh, gosh, and I love you. And my deceased grandpa died on me when I was four year old in the backseat of a Capri Chevy Classic. And I love him. And I thank you, Papa Amos. I love you. Oh, and say, these gang stalking dicks, they're in regret. <laughs> Someone needs to use sacred geometry. Ooh, that's where you're going to have great luck. And nervous of the outcome in your life. It's per these gang stalkers, they're nervous of the outcome of their life. Ooh. And they lace their drugs, coke, and their pot. <laughs> and they're going through your trash. <laughs> and karmic follows divine feminine to work. Those paid to watch you. <laughs> Thank you for showing me that spirit. I love you. Oh, your deceased grandfather is helping with this person that wants to have a boxing match with you. Your deceased grandfather said, uh, you know, keep me in the violet flame protection from the universe. Oh, I love you for that spirit. Uh, these people that wants to be in a boxing match and they go through trash, they're lazy son of a bitches. They're trying to control you. They're trying to control you. They're arrogant dickheads. And you put up your defenses around these people. 
And something about Indiana. Maybe you live in Indiana. And it's saying, uh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Virgo. Happy birthday uh, to uh, you. <laughs> and we're a spiritual gangster here to teach. Oh, wow, ain't that true? Me and my twin flame live together through and through. Ooh. Oh, and you've been reincarnated many lives together. Ooh, spiritual gangsters. That's why. Ooh, and gosh, and you got a mermaid soul. You're so beautiful, and these people don't turn you back to these people. It's karmic. Got paid to follow you to work, and something about underground that's trying to bury your ass underground now. They're trying to bury you underground in your gym. For your healing light. Oh, gosh, because you got a mermaid soul, and this family is weird as hell. This family is weird as hell, and that's why you had to put up your uh, defenses around these people. And something about underground. Uh, there's a warning, warning, underground pothead. Warning, warning, there's an underground pothead. Somebody might work in the mines and they smoke pot. I don't know, but it breaks the heart of many when he died. Maybe somebody that works underground is going to die, but I think it's saying that. Somebody who's got a, a very delightful energy, you know, like it says this person looks like death is eating them alive from the inside out. And it's going to break the hearts of many when this, when he or she dies. It could be somebody that lives in Indiana. I don't know, but these arrogant, egotistical people always want to fight their fucking leeches. And, and you're thankful for the, just having breath to breathe. And all these people want to do is just be in a boxing match. And they've, and they've re reincarnated many lives just to keep doing this to you. And you're a spiritual gangster here. Teach you some, old bitches, about um, war I I'm warning you potheads, quit smoking so much and put up your defenses around these people that has control over your life This because they're a weird, ice lazy fucking family. They're going through their trash. They're going through your trash trying to find coke bags, but they need to uh the law needs to go through the drug the drug dealers trash so they can find the the drugs. Are you listening? The drug bags. They're putting their drug bags law underground. Are you listening? Whoever buys coke and stuff, they're they're burying their bags. Twenty seven twenty seven outside. Are you listening? Oh, and they're nervous as hell because I just told where they did or they deal with their drug bags. Oh, and their gang stopping dicks, their regrets. And, and they paid people to follow her, divine feminine to work. And uh and, and uh you said I don't care because I left all this situation many, many months ago. That's why I can speak of all this and, 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 and we don't turn our back. Don't turn your back to this soulmate. It's an enemy of yours and and, and you're and you have magnetic energy and your twin flame loves you keep that keep that flame keep this flame around you because you're a gem of healing light because you got mermaid uh soul in you and uh your deceased grandfather loves you and and he's your spirit guide and he's helping to reveal to you who is worthy of your time and energy and it breaks the heart of many when somebody dies now this person looks like death eating over them, and they might live in Indiana, and somebody needs to use sacred geometry, and you'll have great luck, and uh, angels is watching over you and your family. Somebody said, happy birthday to you, baby. Happy birthday. Oh, wow, and I love you guys, and I hope I help. It was a little around there or whatever, but I think it'll help somebody today. I love y'all, and uh, maybe get you some, uh, what's this say? Ching, you are seeing the situation accurately, Horace. So I'm telling you right now what I just said. Somebody's soulmate is a piece of shit. <laughs> they're your enemy. They play to love you big, and they're your worst enemy. And it's all right. We all know it's us divine feminists. We're smart motherfuckers. We know how to use discernment. Well, maybe uh, it's so funny because it said something was going to happen to this person. Don't worry. Spirit ain't going to let you die. No, it, it'll be that person. Don't worry. But I love you guys, and I'm going to get off here. And pieces, pieces, 29, 29, 11, 11, twin flame. I love you. Bye.